Well, I was born in Rochester, New York, and then we moved to New Jersey. And at a young age, nine or 10, uh, my dad relocated. We packed everything that we owned with my two brothers, mom and dad, and we drove to Texas to start this next chapter, you know, for my dad. And so um, growing up was great. You know, we, we had a lot of laughter. Uh, we come from a sports background. We all played sports, love sports. Uh, my mother is a teacher, and so she really instilled the value of education. And one thing that my father always taught us was to reach for the moon because even if we missed, we'd be among the stars. And when I think about that, it transcends whatever obstacles came my way. And so my journey, that foundation, faith, character, sports, understanding the power of team and grit and tenacity and work ethic, all of those seeds were planted at a very young age, including seeing what was not always available, which was anchored in the insecurity of money growing up. But all of that got me to exactly where I am today and I wouldn't change a thing. While uh, at school, majoring in business, uh, finance and marketing, and then pursuing my MBA at Baylor, really were the building blocks. And so I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do, but every step of the way continued to just connect with this inner spirit around financial insecurity the inner spirit around how can more Americans have access to having what every American wants, which is the ability to take care of their family, their ability to be able to have their basic needs met and the ability to ultimately transfer something to the generation you know, after them. So I didn't have this big planned you know, life mapped out, but I, what I did know is that whatever I would do, it would connect with my purpose, which is to inspire others. When I'm asked the question, why? What fuels me beyond doing my job with excellence? I am a black woman. My parents were raised in the segregated South. I understand what structural and systemic racism is, not just through my own experience, but through the history that brought me to exactly where I am today. I know that talent is created equally, but opportunity is not. And so when I think about having the privilege to be in the seat, Look at the stats. There's only been three African-American women running Fortune 500 companies year after year after year after year, three. Ursula Burns started it. And so I understand that I am on the shoulders of giants. When you think about Baylor, you think about culture and culture is felt. Culture is not defined just on the main campus of Baylor. The culture of what makes Baylor Baylor is not defined based on are you a freshman, a sophomore, or an MBA or a PhD. Baylor is Baylor. And so for me, the way you feel Baylor, it's the people. What does it mean to be an alumna of the year? It means gratitude. And so to have an opportunity to receive this award, it speaks to the ability to make impact and the ability to carry the values of Baylor, whether you're an undergraduate or not. And it speaks to all of the hard work, all of the care, to ultimately be in a position to receive this award.